Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to a Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week at 10 a.m. CST. I upload beauty lifestyle and beauty videos. What? Beauty lifestyle and Bible videos. <laughs> So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so today I have for you guys a foundation dupe video. So I have three high-end foundations that I have dupes for in drugstore. Now, some of them have multiple dupes, and then one of them only has one dupe that I have found so far. So the first foundation that I want to start off with is the Becca ultimate coverage foundation see now this foundation is a little bit more matte now it's crazy because the three foundations that i'm going to mention that are dupes for this they all wear about the same so this foundation gives almost like a powder finish with how matte it is and it and i'm somebody where if i wear a matte foundation i want a foundation that i don't have to set if it's already matte, I don't want to have to go in on top of it with powder. Now, the issue with this one is, is that whenever you don't set it, it does oxidize and it becomes darker than whenever you first applied it. So that is the case with a couple of these other foundations that I will show you that is a dupe for. So my first dupe for this foundation is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. And I have this one in the shade Dune. And in the Becca one, I have it in the shade buttercup so this one i don't have to set i don't have to set this one whenever i wear this one i only set underneath my eyes where i put concealer and anywhere else i put concealer on my face but other than that the formula is exactly the same it has just about the same consistency as well and i think the revlon one revlon one runs you about six dollars the next one i have is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation and i have mine in shade m10 golden natural same thing with this one i don't have to set it if i apply it just right if i apply too thick of a layer of this it will start to oxidize so you just got to kind of learn how to like if you have dry skin like me learn how to work with these more matte foundations and the last dupe that I have for that one that is almost exactly the same, and I believe the Revlon, the CoverGirl one runs for $10 as well. I'll put the prices up on the screen. And then the last dupe that I have for the Becca foundation is this e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Linen. Okay, for one, the frosted bottle gives you an illusion to what the color is inside. And two, this will wear off patchy and oxidize if you don't set it down. So yeah, those are all the dupes for Becca foundation and I will have swatches of all of these right by each other. Okay, my next foundation that I have dupes for is my Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation and I have this one in the shade medium. Now me being a dry skin girl, this is one of my favorite foundations. It looks pretty by itself because yes, I do use it by itself sometimes and oh my goodness it builds up beautifully the coverage is beautiful i don't have problems with it oxidizing i don't have problems with the way it wears and now all the dupes that i'm about to show you are exactly the same just the price range is different so all the dupes i'm about to show you depending on what brand you like what brand you want to support your price range that you're looking for if you don't want to pay this price they all wear exactly the same. They all have the same finish. Only one is a little bit lighter coverage, but you can build it up and it wears beautifully. So anyways, yeah. So this is the the dupes, the first dupes for this one that I'm going to show you, which is actually, you might be surprised, is the CoverGirl Skin Milk. And I have mine in the shade Light Medium. Now this one wears beautifully. This is the one that's a little bit lighter coverage and I believe this is about anywhere from 11 to $13. The Wonder Beauty one is $40. 
yeah and this one is anywhere from 11 to 13 dollars this one's wears really beautiful so if you like if you watch my channel and you like the finish of the wonder beauty foundation but you want something with a little less coverage because you just kind of need something to even out your skin tone you don't have much to cover up i recommend this one because it really is the exact same it wears beautifully like it makes your skin look poreless and flawless and soft when i wore this i like i even told people i was like i feel like my skin looks like a porcelain doll like like that's how smooth my skin looks when I wear this. Now it does have coconut milk. So if you have any allergies to coconut, I wouldn't use this. I don't have allergies to coconut, but if I use this too often, it does clog my pores and I will break out. So I can only use this like every so often, but when I do wear this, I love it. And the shade is a little bit light for it to be light medium. So uh, you might have to mix shades because there's not very many shades of this. So my next foundation that's just about a spot on dupe is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and it's the dewy one. I have, oh, oh yeah. And I have this one in the shade Cream Beige. Yeah, I have mine in the shade Cream Beige. This one wears and looks exactly like the Wonder Beauty one. And this one only ranges for $6.49. Six to, five to seven bucks is how much this one ranges for. So yeah, I, there's not much to say one about to say about this one because it wears and it applies exactly like the Wonder Beauty one. Another one that I just recently tried out that I actually really, really like and also has kind of the same feel to it, wears the same, applies the same, has the same finish is the LA Girl Pro Coverage, right? Yeah, the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Natural. This one will range you about $10, I believe. And like I said, this one is exactly the same. Like I said, all the colors are a little bit off, obviously, but they I can make them work for my skin tone. So if you're like, if you find, if you find yourself to be a foundation twin with me, this is perfect. Now, but yeah, this is actually a really good foundation. Like I said, it wears beautifully by the time you set everything down. I feel like all of these, the longer you wear them, the better they look, if that makes sense. Okay, and now the last one that I have is my Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Luminous Foundation. Now, I don't find this to be super luminous, so it's not, I mean, it adds a glow, but it's not dewy, but it's not matte either. So it's kind of like a natural finish is what I would call this one right here or satin finish. And the dupe that I have, this one I do have to set down or it wears off patchy and it oxidizes and same with the dupe. But these are like spot on dupes. And I have this one in the shade 330W for the ABH one. And my dupe for that one is actually the Believe Beauty Foundation, which is $5. And I have mine in the shade Warm Vanilla. And same thing, I have to set this down. And if I don't, it wears off patchy and it also will um, oxidize. Another, what was I just about to say? I don't remember what I was gonna say about this. But yeah, you have to set this down or it can wear off patchy as well. Now, I do like both of these foundations and if you apply too much, both of them can look cakey. So it's just another foundation that you do have to be kind of particular with in the way that you use it and find out how it's going to work with your skin. The coverage is there. It is medium to full, if not just straight up full coverage. So yeah, those are all the dupes that I have for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't a big dupes video, but these are foundations that I use on my channel often. So I thought that I would just share with you guys, like if you ever see me in a video when you're like, ooh, like what foundation is she using? What foundations does she like? She has dry skin like me. This will kind of help you narrow down, like you don't have to spend the money to get high end quality, if that makes sense. You don't have to spend top dollar to get top dollar performance. So, um, yeah, if there's any of these foundations that you guys would want me do, to do like a side-by-side -side wear test on and application, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. If you have any other video suggestions whatsoever, comment that down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.